All right, hey, what's up, guys? It's Limbo here. We're gonna be checking out the season three multiplayer launch trailer from Call of Duty that they posted on YouTube and Twitter. And we're gonna be seeing what the community thinks and all that stuff and, you know, give my thoughts on it. Before we react, though, make sure you guys join the Discord server down in the description below and drop a like and subscribe while you guys are out there. Man, it just dropped over an hour ago, right? Um, 17,000 views, so it's kind of falling behind between the Rebirth one. I, I wanna see what the Rebirth one is actually at now. It is at 2 million. Jesus Christ. All right, but let's check out the season three multiplayer launch trailer i think this is a new map some new skins this is how they think we play multiplayer <laughs> oh whoa, whoa 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 okay i like these skins these actually look like something people would wear right in real life what the hell is these two like I, this pigeon skin's already in the game. What the hell is this? We, I, I don't know as a community, like where they're getting their surveys done or like where they're getting the numbers to see where people actually enjoy these kind of skins. Like this should not be in Call of Duty, bro. Like, listen, we already, we already went far enough with the, with the, the, the tomfoolery with the skins and cosmetics back in advanced warfare. We, we just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. I, I don't know. We got some futuristic skins though. Noom, whoa. Yo, this looks lit. This looks like a map I would take screenshots of weapons on. And it looks like a, a medium-sized map. So maybe, you know, it'll be good if we're going for nukes. But this looks good. I I'm excited to play on this map. This map looks sick. It looks like we're playing on top of a building. It literally looks like um Dubai. It look That's what it looks like. We keep in the street. We keep in the street. Okay. Okay, that guy's aimbotting, clearly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but th that is the most unrealistic. Like, this is the most, like, I would say, <laughs> this clip right here is what multiplayer usually looks like when you're fighting along somebody. But look at this. You, you're you hip-firing a recon drone? That is the most unrealistic thing. You're hip-firing with a pistol from that far. How could this be the most accurate but most inaccurate clip of all time, bro. But I'm, I'm vibing with the trailer so far. I'm not gonna lie. I'm vibing with it, okay? Another new map. More skins. More finishers. Jesus. Ooh. Maybe that's Black Cell. Maybe Black Cell will actually be worth it if it's not black and yellow. Ooh. No matter the fight. Yo, what is this sniper, bro? This looks sick as hell. Oh my God. That looks like a, a sick ass sniper. I'm telling you, it's going to be broken. Like it's either going to be like all the futuristic weapons like that, that Stormbreaker, whatever it's called. It's going to be trash as hell or it's going to be broken for a couple of weeks. That's, that, that's literally the sniper's fate. Dude, that's so cool though. Leave no friend behind. Why do they keep hit firing, bro? Do you guys not have an L2 button to aim? <laughs> free content update. Yes, free content update. <laughs> Trailer all in all is really good. Let's see what the people are saying, though, okay? I think we see the description first. Turn it up across four multiplayer maps. Game modes like Capture the Flag and more in Season 3 of Modern Warfare 3 on April 3rd. The first comment I, that just caught my eye. Just add all content from Vanguard Cold War Modern Warfare to Modern Warfare 3. Are you stupid? I'm, I'm just going to explain it for the one time. It, they're not going to do that because it's a waste of money for them. Waste of resources. Waste of time. You know, not all content. They should just add, like a couple of guns that were popular in those three games and like one or two and that's it and to start making original guns dude what a horrible take bro call of duty still can't fail in adding more recycled content and game modes we used to have at launch back in older titles that's facts that is facts why in every new season they are making infected a selling point for the season bro in the roadmap they make it a sell point for new game modes that they, they bring back they're making it a sell point it shouldn't be like that it should be coming into the game it, it makes no sense i don't like dude who's really hyped for capture the flag tell me who's hyped for capture the flag maybe at launch they would but like dude like i just oh my god they're adding they're adding game modes that have no chance to actually like have a player base in because they don't have it at launch throughout those couple months man throughout the, the last four and a half five six months right the player base already has the set game modes that they want to play so why why would you add an original 
game mode that's been in older Call of Duties at the launch. Like, why would you add it at towards the end of the life cycle? Where it's not going to succeed. Like, it makes no sense. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if some of these maps were from other cons. If someone knows, please let me know. Bro, because everyone... We all know, like, like, dude, the new gen cons just recycle old maps that everyone likes, changes them up a little bit. We want new original maps, man, for DLCs, okay? Adding on maps that were from different Call of Duties is not DLC, it's recycled content. <laughs> I like how they never really shot anything. That is hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god. Holy, this is nice. Finally, some maps for MP. Thank god. Yeah, bro. MP was in a drought for a bit because some of the maps that they added were like, they, they, they just, they just were okay. But like, you know, we, we all get bored of it eventually, right? Let me read one more. <laughs> Last one I'm going to read from the YouTube section of the Call of Duty video. Ah, uh, yes. With a new season comes more COD haters with irrelevant complaints. I mean, they when it, when it's a valid and relevant complaint, like let them slide. But if if it's irrelevant, don't let them slide. I actually like this one. I'm not gonna end on that one. Uh, <laughs> I just want a COD game that is grounded in reality and keeps a coherent theme. How hard is it to not put furries in a modern shooter, bro? Listen, I, I'm fine. I think what I'm really fine with is like the end of the game taunts. Like I really love like at the end of the game where it shows either the best clip or the top three players. And then you add like f silly gestures and emotes for that. I really like Black Ops 3's character customization for those characters. Like maybe what they could have done and what they should do, honestly, is have these set characters like Jet, Uncho, whatever, you know what I'm saying? BBQ, all like the base models. And then let us customize the actual parts of the character. So you could have the headpiece, you could change the headgear, you could change the arms and all that stuff and like the body gear, right? That's two right there. And then you could change the legs and the feet, just like how they had it in BO3 in Advanced Warfare. Why do we need to spend $24 on a skin? You know what I'm saying? Or $28, sometimes $32, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it makes no sense. But let's head over to Twitter. Charlie Intel's keeping us updated. And uh, what's his name? Bob Network UK. He leaked it all like a couple of days, a couple of weeks. I don't know when, but I follow him and I've been keeping up with the leaks. But let's go over to my bookmarks tab and the roadmap let's see modern warfare 3 x warzone season 3 roadmap so rebirth islands a big one there's a field upgrade called squad rage i'm guessing that just gives um a rage effect to your squad biometric scanner there's a new gulag public event looks like new contract spy drones there's the champions quest for for uh, rebirth it looks like that's actually be really sick the specialist perk package and the weapon trade station and the kill streak foresight is all in season okay everything else from the gulag the bot the scanner the smart display squad assemble time of day all that stuff and the champions quest and a new contract it's all coming with the season three update okay the modern warfare 3 multiplayer we have six new maps there's actually a remaster grown house grown house no grow house so season three is coming out with three maps taint emergency and six star and then in season, and actually a fourth with Grow House, actually. So four. Then in season, it's Grime and Checkpoint. New modes, uh, not really new modes. Capture Flag, one of the chamber. And then the East in, in season one is Escort and Minefield. Why don't they have a freaking game mode like they had in Black Ops 3? Uh, I forget what it's called, but you literally move the robot. Why don't they have something like that, bro? Modern Warfare, Zombies, a lot of... They're all in season. So you're telling me... That the zombies community has to wait even longer for their content? <laughs> That's messed up, bro. Oh my god. I feel bad for the zombies community, man. All right, new weapons and operators, new weapons in the battle pass. There's four of them. The one of them being in season. The FJX Horus, which is, looks like an SMG. It looks like the Vel, the MP7 from Modern Warfare 2. The Morse, which is a sniper from Advanced Warfare. Uh hold up jev morse sniper i'm pretty sure yeah wait wait hold up yeah the morse is the quick bolt from advanced warfare oh let's go okay that's gonna be sick the yeah the gladiator knife okay the in-season battle pass weapon is gonna be the bow 27 man if you know about the bow 27 dude you know the shit we had to go through dude hey yo play the clip of merc music <laughs> singing the bow 27 song bro Let's go use the We got some new operators, Banshee, Hush, Snoop Dogg once again. Apparently, this is his sixth Call of Duty that he's in. And apparently, he's in more Call of Duty than some 
story characters, bro. We have a plethora of new perks. One, two, three, four, five. Five new perks, three vests, one boot, and it looks like that looks like a, a gear one. So compression carrier. Is that quick fix? That's a quick fix icon on the compression carry. Holy shit, MP, regular MP might be saved. New aftermarket parts for the Bruin looks like, which I can already tell by the magazine. There's a new event, the Vortex V virus <laughs> mainframe, which is coming out with the season. Call of Duty endowment for the veterans. Godzilla X Kong, which is, looks like it's coming out immediately or, or some during the season. It doesn't say in season. There's going to be a battle for Hollow Earth, Godzilla versus Kong. And then there's going to be a 420 skin set for check and chong which i'm pretty sure those guys like during the like when weed was coming up they were like the biggest like um endorses of weed i'm pretty sure i don't know i'm only 19 years old but yeah that's that's that that's the uh roadmap i'm i'm excited i'm not gonna lie i'm excited let's see what i what else i bookmark this one's actually huge right here breaking warzone rank play moves to rebirth island with season three that's gonna be huge for rank players but they also have to fix rank with the bots and all stuff because dude playing rank means nothing because everyone in the top 250 or that's iridescent is literally cheating somehow like most people apparently i don't know i'm not in the rank play so i can't really say but but from the tweets that i've been seeing of my rank play people that i follow there's people literally buying services to put them in bot lobbies, which is absolutely crazy. But overall, this season three update is arguably, it most probably is, bigger than the season two update. Because now you got Rebirth coming back. You got all these things that the Warzone community was asking for coming back. We have old guns from literally eight, seven years ago coming back. Multiplayer is getting some love. And all they're really lacking in this update is zombies. The zombies community has to wait literally a couple of weeks for their content to come, bro. They're not, they have, <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. But overall, I think as a community, as a whole, except for the zombies community, which I feel bad for, everyone's happy. Everyone's excited. The only way they can really mess this up is with them on day one of season three, making multiplayer, Warzone, and zombie unplayable. Apparently, that's what happened with season one and two right so i'm a, i might experience it firsthand for the first time but but honestly like i think we can all say as a community we're all happy with this update we're all excited about this update it's just that we don't know at the start of the season if the game will be playable or not so let's all hope keep our fingers crossed hopefully everyone can get a couple of games in before they have to go back to reality man but yeah it's been your boy let me know guys join the discord server down in the description below drop a like subscribe as well and i love y'all peace